Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to SBA Prepping Survival and Bushcraft. It's been a while. I've decided it's probably time to reactivate this channel. And I've been thinking, you know, I do a lot on uh, my St. Bernard Acres channel. But I, I think this year, I've always said 2024 is going to be a tumultuous year at best. Uh, I think this is when something's going to happen that as a prepper, you need to, you know, be thinking about. So what I thought I would do to reintroduce the channel and get things rolling is pick five items, five food items, I think a new prepper should start with uh, to start getting into the world of prepping. I ain't calling it prepping, but that's what it is. You've got to be ready for an interruption in your life of some sort, in this country of some There's going to be an interruption you're going to have to deal with. So... These are five items that I started with and everybody could start with if they want to start getting into it. This is the route I would go. Those ration bars, you know, energy bars they sell. They're small, they're compact, they store for five years or so, and they're full of calories, which is one of the things we're going to need. If something happens, you know, to the food supply, you know, and we can't go get food, we need to have things around till our garden starts producing, especially. Uh, but yeah, those things are good. And like I said, you, most of them you get around 2,000 calories out of. So they're easy to store. They're relatively inexpensive. They're not the cheapest thing, but that's something to buy. Buy a little bit every week and just store them. Um, the next thing would be dried beans. If you store them right in mylar bags with an oxygen absorber, you know, you get yourself a food sealer and the bags, they will last for decades. They will outlast you, right? It's easy to, uh, again, easy to cook. I mean, it takes a while to cook them, but they're easy to cook. And uh, uh, they're, they're rich in antioxidants and proteins. So that's important to have. Beans are cheap. Stock up on them. That's the best way to do it. Number three, honey. Raw, unfiltered honey. Again, it lasts for decades. It's a natural sweetener. You can add it to other foods that are in your preps if, you know, need be. Uh, they also have, it's good for medicinal purposes. They're, they're loaded with antioxidants. Uh, honey helps in the digestive system. If you need help, you know, it's a good long-term, easy storage, no special stuff needed. So another good item to add for starting out prepping. Number four would be white rice, not brown rice. Brown rice has that coating around it of oils and that'll degrade the rice rather quickly. White rice, uncooked, nothing. Storm like you do the beans and they'll last for decades as well. That's the beautiful thing about the rice. Um, easy to cook. If you mix it with beans, you know, if you combine the beans and the rice in your meals, it, it forms uh, uh, a uh, complete protein, which is something normally you only get out of animals, you know. So, uh, very good, easy to stock, inexpensive to get started, and everybody loves beans and rice. So, that is number four. Number five is going to be non-fat, 
powdered milk. Lasts for 25 years, easy to reconstitute. You can mix it with other uh, foods in, in your SHTF prepping, right? But it, like I said, it's good for 25 years. Stock that up. Because you're going to need milk. You're going to need milk to cook with. You're going to need milk to drink. You know, non-fat powdered milk. I mean, it ain't fresh gallon of milk you go to the store to get, but what if there are no stores to go get the milk? You have it there. Um, those are five easy items to buy and stock right now. That will get you started. Then you can continue to add to that. That is not a lot of money. If you bought, you know, a couple pounds of beans and rice every week when you get paid, store it away. Buy some protein bars. Uh, buy some non-fat powdered milk and a jar of honey. And put that stuff aside. It stores easily. It's easy to use. And it's good for you. It will help you get started as a prepper and I'm telling you that is becoming a very important thing these days that's why I'm going to reactivate this channel and we're going to start having prepping in this channel as well as our bushcraft and survival uh, videos but St. Bernard Acres I'm going to continue that channel of course but we're going to do a lot of bushcraft type stuff, a lot of survival type stuff, and prepping on this channel. St. Bernard Acres is going to become my, you know, homesteading, uh, gardening, building the house. You know, I built the cabin and everything. That's going to continue on that way. My chats, my live streams will stay on St. Bernard Acres. But this channel is going to become prepping, survival, and bushcraft. That's what we're going to be doing. I hope you like this. I hope you, if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe. You hit that like button. Let's build this channel up. Let's start using it. I'm going to put at least one video a week up. If I have the opportunity to do more, I will. But we're going to have discussions about how to be prepared. And how to affordably get yourself ready for an SHTF event should that happen. My prepping involves for a few months. I don't need to prep for a 10 year survival situation. I don't believe that's gonna happen. I believe if there's an interruption, you know, an EMP, if, if the grid goes down for a while, if there's a financial collapse, I think within a matter of, you know, within a year, things are going to start coming back to whatever the new normal is going to be. So I'm not into, you know, 10 years worth of freeze-dried foods and uh, digging bomb shelters and all that kind of crap. Right? I just want us to be able to to prep without being afraid. You know, no scare tactics here, no doomsday shit here, you know. Uh, we're just going to discuss being preppers. That's how this channel is going to work. I will see you on the next video. I'm out.